So hello everyone, welcome to HappyMath.com. So this time we use, uh, we are using Excel, then find the uh, sample mean, the variance, and standard deviation, especially we are using frequency distribution table and they find those values here. Okay, so creating a frequency table, it means now we don't know actual, uh, actual data set anymore. You understand what I'm talking about, right? So we know that uh, the class between 7 through 18, there are six different data here, but we don't know what they are. They're the same thing as 10 data belongs to these two, uh, th uh, between 19 through 30 and 13, data belongs to 31 through 42, like that, but we don't know actual data set. So we need to find out the representing data so that's the reason we are finding the midpoint. Okay. So remember how to find it, how to find the midpoint? Yes. So midpoint, midpoint means the average between the lower limit and the upper limit. So equal to average and click this two, then it will calculate for you. So 12.5 will be the midpoint for uh, this, the first class. And then now you go back and then just click the right bottom corner and then hold it and then copy down. And those are all your midpoint value for each class. Okay. And now instead we try to look for actual data, then we can interpret this data set. There are six or uh, six of 12.5 exist, there are 10 of 24.5 exist, and thir uh, 13 of 13 of 36.5 and 8 of 48.5 like that, uh, all those data existing in your life. Okay, so they are basically representing this data set. So finding mean, we, we are also using the midpoint as well. Okay, but now when we do that, so we are going to add 12.5 six times and 24.5 10 times like that. That's the reason I make another column. So we are going to we are gonna find out uh, midpoint time each frequency. Okay. So equal to midpoint times each frequency. Okay. Now we got 75 and go back here, the right bottom corner, click, hold it, and copy down. Then okay. it will calculate for you. Now, important thing is you need to find out total frequency and then total of this value here. So total frequency, you just click. Uh, right below the bottom of the frequency here and click auto sum and it, it will highlight for you enter that and that's the basically total frequency and the total value so here then click auto sum again now there will be total sum of the uh, this data value basically okay therefore simple mean that equal to so total value divided by total number of data. So that will be our sample mean value. So that's part of the answer. Okay. And now finding the variance in the standard deviation. So we will use this formula here. Okay. So of course you don't see X here, but as I told you, the midpoint representing each class data. So we can replace this value as an x here, okay? Which means this x means the midpoint of this table here, okay? But now, so to do so, I, we are we want to find out uh, midpoint square time f first. So now I'm gonna click that and midpoint. Now uh, shift the key and number six, then it can be power, but the power key here. So again. Shift key with this number six, then the power, then double. Uh, I mean the number two, and then multiply and the frequency. Oops, I made a mistake. Sorry. So equal to midpoint, and then shift to number six key, and then square time and frequency. Enter. Okay. Now go back and then. Right bottom, just holding it, copy down. And don't forget you're finding total sum of this column as well. 
So then now we are ready to find um, the variance and the standard deviation for this sample data. Okay. So when you look at n, n means total number of data, so which is 50, and then sum of x squared times uh, f, which means in this table, we are doing m squared times f, this uh, sum here, so which means this value. So I'm going to highlight for you which value we are using. Uh, those three values we will use anyway. So first of all, uh, we're going to find out uh, sample variance. So that is equal to follow me carefully. So first of all, we are we are going to divide the numerator part and denominator part here. So equal open the parenthesis. Okay, now we are we are going to figure out this one here, which means fifty times this number. So fifty times so the last column here, okay, and minus. Now this means this column basically, so total sum, so this number square, this, then don't forget, shift number six, then it become power key, and square, and close the parenthesis, now divide by, and open the parenthesis again, now n is 50, right, so we can do 50 times n minus 1, which is 49, so 49, and close the parenthesis, and enter. Then that will be our sample variance. Okay. Then what is the uh, sample standard deviation? Okay. So this value equal to square root of the variance. So the, in XA case, square root commander is SQRT. So SQRT, and choosing this one. And select the variance value and enter, and that will be our sample standard deviation. Okay. So again, sample mean you are dividing this number divided by total frequency, this number. That's why we got 41.78. And so sample variance. So we are making the calculations. So total number times the last column minus you know, the third on uh, this column square and close the parenthesis make dividend sign and 50 times 49 and now in this case we are using square root so actually case square root means sqrt basically okay so that's how we uh that's how we can find what happened here So that's how we can find um, the sample standard deviation. Okay. Yeah. So unlike other questions using frequency table, it can be a little bit more complicated because you know we don't know the actual data set. That's the reason. But anyway, I really hope this video help you to find the uh, sample mean and then measure variation values uh, based on frequency table then I will come back with a different video. All right, thank you.